It's been a while since I've made a video on MAME force feedback using the FFB Arcade plugin program. Uh, there's been a lot of updates since I've done my last video, so I definitely want to highlight some here. Uh, first of all, uh, the new version can work with any version of MAME. Originally, there was a very specific version you needed. That's no longer the case, so whichever version of MAME you're using, you can use this program, which is great. The installation is also a little bit uh, different, easier. Um, same thing where you take the files, you copy them into your main folder. There is a readme you can look at which will show you you need some uh, visual runtime files if you don't already have them. Uh, version 2019 it says here. So if you don't have them just go to the website, download it, install the, uh, the latest version. And also uh, in your main.ini file you have to set the OSD output option to Windows. I think it defaults on auto and it also discusses how you should have the MAME.ini file in your root folder of MAME. So just follow those instructions and you should have everything set up. The other nice thing is that there's now a GUI and you can click on Force Feedback Setup and first of all there's a ton of games listed here. These are all the games that are compatible with it right now. You'll see some gun games in there, I guess, for uh, recoil and stuff like that. I don't have that, so I'm just going to focus on racing games. But you can make adjustments to the program and then make adjustments for individual games. Uh, what's also nice is that originally you had to um, make a log file to get the uh, device ID number of your steering wheel. In this case, you can just pull down this menu here and actually find your steering wheel, and it will automatically find it and save it. So that makes it much easier. One of the nice things in the GUI is that there's actually a force feedback test you can use. You just click it, pick your wheel, and then there's a whole bunch of different options to test the force feedback on the wheel. So now I'll show you a few of the new games in action. First up we have Race Driving and Hard Driving. I personally prefer Race Driving Panorama because it has the most tracks of any game in the series. You also get the uh, three screens for the panoramic effect. If you don't want that though, you can just go to Video Options and pick the center screen and it'll look like the original game. So let's go ahead and start up a game. You can feel it kind of click on each track as you cycle through them. We'll just go with the original. I'll pick automatic. Next up is Virtua Racing. Just make sure that you go into the test menu, go down to Game System, and then go down to Cabinet and make sure it's set on Upright. There's a few different options, just make sure it's on Upright, otherwise the force feedback won't work. This is Power Drift.
This is Cisco Heat. Outrun. This is Grand Prix Star. This is Ace Driver.